Hi, welcome to my video tutorial. This is Learning Made Easy. Today I'm looking at the Inspiration app on the iPad. Now I'm only looking at the 12 version and then I want to go from there if it's any good I'm actually going to download the full version. So first thing I need to do is open Inspiration. Now if anyone's ever used my mapping before it's a great way to visualize your work. So first thing we need to do is start off by giving the title to our mind map. So at the very top of the screen, iPad, tap that test button and delete the text. I should just call this essay. Click back onto my map. Now to create your first symbol you need to click onto the glass and hold your finger and this will pop up. Now I'm going to choose select add symbol because we're starting a new map and now we're ready to go. We can put our main idea in there. Now let me give you a quick view of the settings. On that little symbol on the left if I click that button it adds a note so you can add notes to each symbol so you can attach your ideas also if you click that arrow button will create your first symbol so I'll do that in a minute the other thing I quickly want to show you are the settings at the top so you can get an idea of how they work top right hand corner which is the settings button this will give you tips, help and about you can also add send back the instruction space I had a quick look at you can create instructions in your map to help you as you go along so that's quite handy that's the trash button next to it on the left. Now the I button you can do all your settings like your colour settings and format settings. So let's have a look here. So we've got text so I can change which text you want here which I'm actually going to change that to I prefer that text. I'm also going to change the size a little bit bigger. You can change the colour of your text there as well and you can align it left, middle or right. If I go to style, we can actually change the colour. As you can see, the fill colour of the symbol is currently in blue mode. We can change the thickness of the line on the outside of the symbol. Let me show you what I mean. So if I make that red, you can see a little red tint on that now. Great for just outlining ideas. Also, you can change the width there of the thickness of those lines if you need to. Okay, also if you go to diagram option here, you can actually change the way you link stuff together because I'll show you in a minute when we link symbols together and ideas, we can choose how they're linked by using those options. Also, you've got background fill, green, pink, grey and so on. Or if you really fancy a textured one, you can use it there. I'll actually leave that on textured, I think. Right, I'm going to click the eye to close it. That little lightning symbol indicates brainstorming. You can brainstorm ideas and I'll show you that as well. And the last option on the right there is where you can export it to. As this is not the full version, as you can see here, I'm kind of limited to where I can actually export to. But you can send it to Dropbox, iTunes, or send to Pacific App if you upgrade. You can still mail it or save it to photos if you need to, so you can still use your maps. Okay, close that. So the next thing on the left I'm going to show you at the top is these two options here is outline, and if I click back to diagram view, and you've got diagram view. So as you're creating a map, you can change the linear format and see how you're building your ideas through text format. Really handy to swap between them two. As so. But let's jump straight into it. So I need a main idea. So if I double tap in the middle, I'm just going to call this essay. Nice and simple. If only essays were. First thing I need to do is create your first paragraph or your first section. So that little arrow, if I drag that along up to the right, let go there's my first symbol and now if I double tap into there I can give my first symbol a title look at that as your first paragraph or first section so I'll call that introduction and click off that so there we go we've got your essay title and your introduction actually if I'm on introduction if you were doing an essay why not break your introduction down into sections so if you've got to structure stuff you can put introduction to certain sections and put your information in regarding to that it's just a great way to just structure stuff. I'll show you what I mean. So let me click off that pull that over here. I'm going to click the little arrow because that creates a little symbol let go. Click on introduction, another little arrow. Click on introduction again, another little arrow. And there we go. As you can see, I'm getting a bit crowded in the corner there. So what I could do is tap the middle, keep your finger on it, brings up that little toolbar, select select tool, and then I can drag that into the middle and then tap back off. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is change these. So I'm going to pull that up to here. So I've got introduction, so I'm going to break that down into sections. So I could call this uh, main intro. Now 
click on the second part of the section always pull them out spread them out so you can see what you're doing double tap and so on and put second intro in finally click on third and you know what I'm going to put here and there we go so what we've got here is essay introduction main intro second intro third intro and so on so what I can do now is start adding my notes for them for example so I'm breaking introduction down into three sections so why not click on main intro see that little symbol at the top there with main intro with a pen and paper click that once I can now start typing in my first part of the intro and so on so that's one do the same with the second one add a little note and type in second part and so on just do it on the last one add a little note so you can see how it's formatting close that so let's have a little look so now we've got three sections you've noticed when I actually click on the symbol now where you had that little notepad and a pen it's no longer there so it's telling you've got stuff written into those notes so there's my first part of my essay so I've got my title essay my introduction and I broke my introduction down into three sections now if I actually drag these apart more because I want to show you the links in the middle if I actually click on these links you can actually type what the relationship between them are I'll tell you what that's good for if you've got ideas and you need to link those ideas together yeah you could use it for that there's so many things you can use for that linking phrase it's really handy just to let you know that's there now I did show you earlier on these links, if I click on the link again here you see how it highlights with the two little green dots on either side of that link if I click the I button top right hand corner now I can now change the settings, remember we've got text option here, audio and diagram now this is where I can change your link style so if I click on that style there or that style there, you can see it changing on the left so you can change your link styles pretty quickly ok just want to let you know that's there, it's really handy as well so there's our little mind map to start off with now I showed you as well how we can look at that in linear format so we go top left hand corner again we're currently on diagram by the symbol if I click to the right of that that will take that map and now we're in text format which is linear format so I'm going to have a look at outline format so we can see from if you look at the diagram earlier I have my introduction and then we have my three ideas off introduction where I broke that down so what we can do now is actually work on this for example if I click into main intro see on the right here we've got a little plus button if I click the plus button I can then add another symbol in so now I put that symbol after A so what I will have if I go back to diagram view I now have an extra symbol that I put in there there you go that's just if you want to add them, it's quite easy to do with that highlight, if you don't want that symbol top right hand corner, see the trash click in, it's gone but I want to go back to outline view again so I'll show you how that works so for example, say I click on your third one say you want to make your third part of your introduction C into a sub paragraph of B for example well why not use these arrows on the right here so if I click these arrows here I can click them forward or back so now I've taken your second intro part of your second intro and I've added a sub paragraph to that show you what I mean if I go back to diagram and there we go I've now added a sub of your second paragraph quite easy to do I'll go back to outline view so we can change that round by using the arrows here so if I click back to there I'm back to where I originally was if I go to diagram I've now got A, B, C of my introduction quite simple to use but it's great visually for just doing mind maps now if you actually double tap below the last topic you can add a new topic as well you can do it that way or use the plus button but you see on the left of these ideas I've got as you can see I've got A main intro B second intro and C third intro now if I click to the left of that there's your note you've added in your, so you can actually add more information to these notes by double tapping and so on very simplistic to use but very very useful so I'm going to click back to the diagram because that's what I like to work anyway visually and because I've opened that map in outline you can see it open up in diagram view so if I move that down we've got more options to this now I've shown you to change the colors using the I button top right hand corner there's a lot more you can do with this see up here on the left if I click this button just here 
you have loads of clip art you can use and shapes so let's try them out let's uh, got SA there let's go school scroll along why not why don't I just double tap that and it will change my symbol to books and so on really useful to use you have got a search button I'll have a look for ideas and there we go ideas so I could just with introduction double tap ideas and it puts it in there for us really easy if I click to left hand corner I can change the shapes as well so I might want introduction as a square rectangle or maybe I want that as a, a cloud or even a folder option there's so many shapes you can use there as well right I'm going to come back out of that so what you do is you click back on the option and it gets rid of it for you so there's a bit of simple mind mapping and that's just planning essays so as we can see we've got our first introduction so if I click essay I can drag that little arrow and create my second paragraph or section if you've never done mind mapping before give it a try because it is really really helpful I'm now going to show you brainstorming using inspiration which is a great option for getting your ideas down quickly so let's create a new map and remember you can keep your finger on it and it brings up that little toolbar select tool and then top right hand corner we can send to trash now to brainstorm we need to create your first symbol so again put your finger on the glass let go add symbol now what we're going to brainstorm I'll just put anything really for now click off that so I need something to brainstorm so with that highlighted ideas I go top right hand corner see that little lightning button click that and then release the brainstorm so I could put I don't know and so on and when you're finished just click off it you've brainstormed your ideas so you can grab ideas where you want them and then organize all your ideas you put down quickly and if you don't want anything again just highlight it click the trash button at the top again just a great idea for getting your ideas down in a hurry instead of writing them down why not use this program thanks for watching learning made easy